Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're so glad to have you listening. I'm Lynette Kittle, and today's topic is Raised with Christ. We'll be right back after a brief message from our sponsor. This episode is brought to you by He Gets Us, a nationwide campaign all about raising the respect and relevance of Jesus. Did you see the Super Bowl ads about Jesus? Are you wondering how you can get involved? He Gets Us is a multi-year effort to raise the respect and relevance of Jesus in the United States. Thanks to this unprecedented campaign, millions of Americans are discovering the life-changing impact of Jesus, and we want you to be a part of the movement. Join more than 45,000 He Gets Us fans getting the latest updates, inspiration, prayer ideas, and easy-to-share resources via text message by subscribing to our fans' community. To do so, text FANS to 70193. By being a fan, you can get exclusive updates on new ads, events, and other exciting news related to the He Gets Us movement. We'll also keep you inspired by giving you access to reading plans, prayer guides, and other tools to help on your spiritual journey. Join this community of like-minded individuals who share your passion for spreading the love of Jesus. Simply text FANS to 70193 to join today. What happens when a writer and former history teacher goes toe-to-toe with his best friend, a nationally touring stand-up comedian? Total carnage, that's what. Two men enter, and two men leave, because that's how it works. (laughs) Actually, you get hilarious, real, and insightful conversations about life, history, culture, faith, and everything in between. Join me, comedian Johnny W., and my pal, author and speaker John Driver for Talk About That at LifeAudio.com or wherever you get your podcasts. Raised with Christ, written and read by Lynette Kittle. Since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Colossians 3 1. Each year we celebrate Christ's resurrection from the dead. It's also a time for us to celebrate how, with his rising, we have been raised too. Ephesians 2 6 explains, And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. Once enslaved to sin and the things of the earth, through Jesus' death and resurrection, we are now set free from sin to live a new life in him. Romans 6, 4 describes, We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead, Through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. As we focus on our risen Savior, too often we overlook how His rising raises us too. 1 Corinthians 6.14 describes how, By His power God raised the Lord from the dead, and He will raise us also. Like Jesus was raised from the dead, we are raised from being dead in our transgressions and made alive again. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace that you have been saved. Ephesians 2, 4 and 5. Being dead in our transgression means we had no way on our own of being made alive again. Only through the raising up of Jesus could we be raised up and freed from our sinful state. Romans 8.11 describes, And if the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of His Spirit who lives in you. There is much to rejoice in Jesus being raised from the dead, of His being set free from death's grip, which means we are set free from it too. Jesus defeated death for us, suffering on our behalf, In his being freed from the agony of death, so are we. But God raised him from the dead, freeing him from the agony of death, because it was impossible for death to keep its hold on him. Acts 2, 24. 
Being raised with Jesus means we are set free from experiencing the agony of death too. As John 5.24 explains, Very truly I tell you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be judged, but is crossed over from death to life. Like death was unable to keep its hold on Jesus, so now because we are raised with him, it is unable to have a hold on us too. Our risen Savior has set us free from its deadly grip, and like him, we will be with Jesus and alive forevermore. 1 Corinthians fifteen fifty four explains, When the perishable has been closed with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that it is written will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O death, is your victory? Where is your sting? Intersecting Faith and Life Along with rejoicing in the death and resurrection of Jesus, remember to thank God for raising you up too. Ask Him to help you look past everyday distractions and show you ways to set your heart on things above. As well, look for ways to remind family, friends, co-workers, and neighbors of the benefits we receive through Jesus' finished work on the cross. Further reading, Heavenly Realms. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Our world can feel chaotic and uncertain, but we don't have to live enslaved to fear. Christ has promised you and I his peace, and throughout scripture, he has provided powerful truths and practical steps to help us experience greater freedom. I'm Jennifer Slattery, lead host of the Faith Over Fear podcast, inviting you to join me and my team as together we learn how to starve our fears and grow our faith. Subscribe at lifeaudio.com.